Today we honour the Indigenous peoples of this land, the oldest continuing cultures in human history. We reflect on their past mistreatment. We reflect in particular on the mistreatment of those who were stolen generations. Sorry Day is a day of recognition for our stolen generation. And what the stolen generation is, is actually um, an entire generation of Aboriginal children that were taken away from their families, um, their communities, their parents. It's a really hard thing to describe, but as an Aboriginal person, it's, it's about the recognition that yes, I am an Aboriginal person and who I am and how I lost my sense of identity and belonging. That's what it's about. It's about your identity, your belonging and your whole being. Um, and generations of Aboriginal people lost that. And it, it's like, how do you reconnect? How do you, how do you get that back? I would also like to pay my respects to any Aboriginal here today. My name is Skylar and I'm a proud Aboriginal student. I appreciate the land on which we love, learn and grow on. Um, Sorry Day is um, a sad day for Aboriginal people, um, and it, it, but it's also a day that we recognise that we're still here and we still survive. During the 20th century, Australian government policies resulted in a stolen generation described by John Torpy as a tri Aboriginal child separated often forcibly from their families in the interest of turning them into white Australians. The welfare came um, and my sister was being naughty that night. We were six weeks old. So my mother, sister and her husband come and got my twin sister and took her to give mum a bit of a break. But and it just left me there, so I was the one that was taken. So when these children went into the institutions, um, they would be punished um, if they spoke language or practiced culture. And that in itself um, has um, fragmented Aboriginal culture um, within Australia. And it means that I stand before you today speaking English rather than my, my tongue of language in Wiradjuri. Your most powerful attribute is your voice. And I love the way Brisbane Water encourages you to use your voice and to have your say and discuss these important issues. Our goal should be to agree to a future which gives us all pride and respect. I apologise for the hurt, the pain and the suffering the Parliament has caused you by the laws that previous Parliaments have enacted. It's, it's a loss. I lost part of myself when they took me that and generation after generation now lost their, their heritage, their cultural knowledge, their being and where do they fit into society. But my biggest passion is about the youth of this country and giving them the right tools to understand and to make up their own mind about what had happened in the past. Today I'm going to share with you an acknowledgement of country I wrote during my Aboriginal Studies elective. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Dark and Drunk people, on which this Sorry Day gathering takes place. On the peninsula where most of us reside, some names of our suburbs have Aboriginal origins, three of which I would like to share with you now. It's like opening a book and reading it, but until you really get that story and face to face, these kids don't get it. So I'm hoping that by sharing my story today with the kids, that they'll see it's real and they will get it because these are gonna be our future leaders of this country and they need to know what happened in the past. Do you be able to help, to heal, to move forward? But my biggest thing is to pay respects to all you children here today because you are our future leaders. And that's what this is about. It's about trying to help you understand why story meant so much to so many Aboriginal people. I can tell you that day there was um, not a dry eye in um, my Aboriginal community as we all gathered. We apologise, especially for the removal of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children from their families. 
their communities and their country. I would also like to apologise on behalf of all the non-Indigenous people here today and send my sincerest apologies to all our Indigenous people. The Wiradjuri tribe is the biggest tribe in New South Wales and I have the honour to be a part of it. I would like to thank all Indigenous people that came before me. Without them, I wouldn't be a part of the fabulous tribe and community. And so I would like to thank the dark and young people and other Indigenous people for letting me make Australia my home. I am grateful that Australia is a diverse society and I pledge to continue my part in honouring Aboriginal culture and tradition. And that's what I see this as being a part of, healing and moving forward for every Australian. Doesn't matter who you are or what you are, but just acknowledge the past on which country you're on today. 